You're right, I too have taken note of the amount of chemistry that you and I have. Sani Bonani do me lang. Welcome back. Lubita Laka Kimosa wa haka debe. If you're new, welcome. Sure do hope that you stay and become part of this beautiful growing family. If you're an OG, thank you for coming back. I really do appreciate it. My day one. And yes, if you are into holistic healing, self development, and herbalism, this is a platform where I share my knowledge on these three things. And other things as well that i feel that i may have a a valid point in or know some facts in so yeah today's topic very interesting we'll be discussing sexual compatibility in relationships now this is often overlooked i mean so many things are overlooked but this one in particular, I think it takes the cup, right? Um, so we'll be breaking down what chemistry and compatibility are before we dive deeper into how you can find out if you are compatible with your significant other. If not, what steps can you take to build that compatibility with each other? You're right, I too have taken note of the amount of chemistry that you and I have and I too strongly believe that we are compatible with each other. Chemistry means an intense feeling or feelings, um, an intense connection or great connection as well as some passion thrown in there. Compatibility, on the other hand, simply means that you two have the ability to coexist in a harmonious manner. Sexual compatibility in a relationship sustains a relationship. Now, we can argue all we like, but this is the truth. So much so that incompatibility sexually is a deal breaker for many people. So asking questions and being direct about what you want is very crucial. I don't get why people are scared to ask these questions and they are more comfortable with going with the flow and then the flow disappoints them because they put their needs and being vocal at the back seat. Even worse, people stay after being disappointed and they're not bearing in mind that this creates resentment. Now you're upset that your partner doesn't eat you out because you didn't communicate this initially and that he passes out immediately after a round. Now look at your life. Look at your life. Now you are mad that the floor is on the floor. Hmm? Look at yourself. All because you didn't communicate what you wanted in the beginning or how you wanted it or how frequent you wanted it. Incompatibility is one of the reasons why people end up finding themselves looking for yummy on the side. It's totally normal to get lost in the sauce when you like someone and you and this person share similar values and principles. The wildest part for me is staying when your needs are not being met and resentment starts to kick in. Being open will show you a lot about a person and I know how difficult it is to have conversations surrounding sex or about sex so much so that people would rather engage in sexual intercourse than talk about it communicate their expectations or their needs they just rather go through it well it's okay when a person does this you can already identify other aspects of their lives where they'll be putting up barriers you just need to listen to a person and be attentive they reveal so much about themselves in their mind. men are simple creatures they are 
they come and everything is all right women however are wired differently and i've expressed this in my previous videos as well i think it will never not shock me how how many women actually know what an orgasm feels like and the amount of women that have been pregnant from mediocre sex without all get oh my god oh oh no oh. i think we can look at this and use it as an example to to see how women have been told or taught how to suppress their needs um suppressing your birthright i mean just just look at the mess that a lot of people are in right now Remember how I spoke about resentment earlier? Now, sexual compatibility isn't the only thing that's important in a relationship, but being sexually incompatible with someone will damage the relationship and it definitely will show in different aspects of the relationship. Finding well. out if you are compatible with a person really depends on the series of questions that you ask them it's that simple gents you are not a mind reader ask her how strong her thigh muscles are how strong her knees are ask her what gets her off places that she wants to be touched ask her if she minds if you roll over and fall asleep after the deed just so you can avoid disappointment so these are the signs that you and your partner are sexually compatible you guys like similar positions and you are not afraid to initiate trying out new positions as well that's how you guys know that you are compatible with each other communicating about pleasure both of you aim to please and you don't view sexual intercourse as a chore keeping an open mind keeping an open mind is very important i think a lot of people get so fixated on being touched a certain way that when they are touched in a new way when the partner touches them in a new way and they like it and they go hmm i didn't know that i like being touched at that part of my body or touched in that way and you as a partner that touched your partner <laughs> this way it's always so beautiful to hear that they appreciate it and this gives you a go ahead or gives you some form of assurance that I'm actually doing the right thing and I know where he or she likes to be touched now. Give your partner a performance review. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Before you bash me, hear me out. Giving a performance review can be you giving advice or you merely giving credit where it's due. You providing this person, your partner, this person, with a performance review will make this person, will make your partner feel more valued and they'll definitely want to provide you with more pleasure. Try it out. And that brings me to my last point. And before I go, routine sucks. Just break out of your routine. Break out of your routine, I beg for the love of God. If you want to see longevity or you want to see the best results, just break out of your routine. You can't be doing the same thing at 8 o'clock four times a week. Eh? Please just, yeah, just break out of your routine and you'll see the magic. And that brings me to the end of today's video. Um, there are no herbs to ensure sexual compatibility. Um, they are just herbs for for libido and ensuring that you have a a normal or a higher sex drive. If you are looking for those, you can definitely check out the videos that I've put out. I think about a year ago, two years ago, and yeah, I can't give out those recommendations. 
<laughs> no, it's not fair. It's not fair on other kids. I can't give out those recommendations, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope that you have learned that it's okay to have boundaries and it's okay for you to communicate on the things that you want, on how you feel. And it's okay for you to walk away if you don't like certain things. Um, it's okay for you to walk away if you're realizing that you and this person are not sexually compatible. And I hope that you realize that you speaking up for yourself and you learning how to be an effective communicator is actually you healing yourself. We're learning and we're healing ourselves. So yeah. Thank you so much for, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Until we meet again in my next video, I hope this video was very light um, and, and fun. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves. Remember that to love yourself is to heal yourself. I am out.